Hi, this is Tony Brown calling from Youthwork Toolbox. Um, I'm calling with regards to a room booking we've got tomorrow um, from 5.30 till 9 for some safeguarding training. Um, just want to confirm that we, st we are still going to be attending. We do still want the room booked. Mr. Perrin. How's it going, sir? Good, Mr. Perrin. You alright? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, Today we're here at the Blake Knoll, the Bob Jones Community Hub and we're doing some staff safeguarding training. So for the, for the staffing pool, the Youth Work Toolbox staffing pool, we have to ensure that all our staff are safeguard trained so they can work with young people in the, in the right capacity. And this is a man who's doing our, our training today. This is Dave Perrin, good friend of mine, say. Hey. So what's, what's the plan for today? How's it going to go down? Um, confident it'll be a good session yeah. um, the individuals in the room at the moment we are seeing um, on the ball from a safeguarding perspective yeah. even yeah. though we've not started the session yet yeah. and so I'm just you know I just know that everything's going to be fine yeah. you know, good, good, good. You know, safeguarding is crucial in this um, current culture yeah, yeah. So for people to have the, the correct knowledge is so important yeah. so how long have you been doing safeguarding training for? Ooh, it's got to be since mid 2000s, probably about 2005, okay. on a pretty regular basis, yeah. but, but on a more or less full time basis, the last five years. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. What, what are the kind of the key things you're going to cover today? Today, um, also we're coming from a, we're coming from a youth work perspective. So yeah. a lot of safeguarding is usually around schools and working in schools. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're coming from a, a youth work perspective, working with young people on the streets, etc. Mm -hmm. So are you going to bring a different slant? What, yeah, what's your approach? Yeah, most definitely. Obviously, because it's basic awareness. We're going to look at the, some of the basic fundamentals around yeah. the categories of abuse. Yeah. But I want to really challenge the delegates yeah. on um, identifying safeguarding concerns yeah. and out and about doing the youth work. Okay. You know, you know, what do they do in certain situations? So yeah. I, I look forward to some of the, um, the case studies. Yeah. And sometimes I'll drop in a bit of a role play just to see where people are at. Mm. You know, and I think. Um, when people are challenged, yeah. the more inclined to um, find it in themselves yeah. to, you know, to, to, I suppose, respond better yeah. at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you wanted to find out more about your safeguarding training service, where would you find out about that? Um, you could email me on dcperrin1 at yahoo.co.uk. So we can just um, email you directly and you'll send yeah. us information about the training you do. That's right, yes. So you train professionals in schools? Yes, across the board of yeah. um, Wolverhampton Safeguarding Children's Board, Black Country, Consortium, yeah. um, churches, mosque, yeah. temples, yeah. schools, um, bespoke, yeah. from basic level all the way to advanced level. Okay, yeah. you know. What I love about your the way you deliver is it's very down to earth, it's like you know, from a from a grassroots level right the way up to you know a senior kind of practitioner level. So mm -hmm. that's, that's that's the approach I like. Mm -hmm. But we'll see that. Obviously, I'm yeah. going to going to capture some some of the training. So you'll see Dave in action. Yeah. So yeah. Upon some of the current concerns that we're all facing, mm. 27 domestic abuse call outs, um, eating out of the visitor's school, stealing other children's food out of their lunch boxes, and yet not really acting appropriately for those concerns. We've got um, Kyrie Shack from um, Birmingham. Mm. Alright, so I've just popped out of the training. Whilst I'm in town, I'm going to come and check my printer, Dwayne Fraser. Um, of seven days printing and he's based here at Sunbeam Street and he does all my printing for me so he's the guy who um, does all the t-shirts and all the um, all my printing requirements so I'm gonna go and check him now so come on let's go and see him I hope he's here
This is the man, this is Yo. Mr. Seven Days. <laughs> this is where it all happens. This is the print shop. The big guy in terms of the printing in this city, Dwayne's got it on lock. If you want anything printing, stickers, t-shirts, bags, anything, this is the guy to come and check. So Dwayne, yeah, man. respect man. Yeah, man. Thank yeah. you for jumping on. No so how's it all going? Going alright, you know. It's yeah. going good, man. It's going good. 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 How long have you been here? Been here about three years now. But yeah. Been printing for about a good seven, good to eight years now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you started doing just just t-shirts, didn't it? Just yeah, I started doing just t-shirts. Well, letters on t-shirts yeah, and names yeah, on t-shirts. Yeah, and that. that's that's literally how I started. Just yeah, yeah. Word them out. That's just. That's just how it's going out, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, can, I should advertise, but my phone is ringing every day, it's just, yeah. it's just crazy. How old were you when you started? Um, when I started, I was about 20, 20, about 20, yeah. 20 years old. Okay, yeah, you started, started quite young. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, started about 20 years Okay. Ago, yeah. So this is this is the the print operation. Yeah. So you got print. another operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got the dessert yeah. shop. Yeah, got the dessert shop. Um, it opened last year, December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. December the 12th. Okay. I love desserts. I love desserts. Yeah, yeah over in Walsall Bridge yeah, Street. Yeah. So the, the name should be under there. I love desserts. <laughs> Check it out. Definitely. Young entrepreneur. Cool. He's doing this thing, man. <laughs> he's doing this thing. And then you called me the other day about another business idea you had. So there's always. I know, man. Always, I'm always speaking of like, bigger. <laughs> you know what it is. My mind just thinks just mad. Yeah. yeah. I'm always just trying to think of any opportunity I've got. Mm -hmm. That's me, I'm going in for the kill. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? I'm not even messing around. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, what would you say then to an up and coming entrepreneur? I mean, you started pretty young yourself. You're still pretty young. Yeah, How old yeah, are you yeah. now? Uh, 29 now. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you've been kind of nine years in business. Yeah, so what nine would you years. say to an up and coming entrepreneur? Um, just focus, work hard, um, discipline as well. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a big one. Yeah. And just yeah. you know what I mean. Just don't tell, don't let no one tell you that you can't do anything mm -hmm. that you know what I mean that you want to do. To be honest with you, you know what I mean. So it's just about that really. Mm -hmm. If you want to, if you want to go to the space, don't. If you want to go to space, don't let no one else tell you that yeah. you can't go to space. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, one of them yeah. things. It's just this it's, it's limitless. To be honest with you, you can yeah. just you can do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like my parents told me that I shouldn't go into printing. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't leave my job. Um, but I just got to the point where I just didn't listen to them, so, <laughs> them. so if I did listen to them, I always say to my mum, imagine if I listened to what he said, yeah, yeah. I would be still there, still in your job, parcels, wouldn't have this, yeah. wouldn't have this, wouldn't have the dessert shop, mm. you know what I mean, so yeah. it's one of them, so if you've got the, if you've got a good feeling about it, just mm. go in and try and just try things, so mm. try and do the best you can. There you go people, yeah. there you go. What respects about this guy is no hype, you know, he doesn't hype up, you know, he's not on social media boosting up himself, he's just doing it, you know, he's just putting in the work behind the scenes, he's built, built his businesses, he's just doing it, so big respect to that, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. one Dwayne. No problem, yeah. no problem. Alright, so look at this for a coincidence, I've just literally come out of Dwayne's, so Dwayne's is there, just dropped off the t-shirts, stepped out and saw this poster and um, Mike, me and Mike was um, chopping it up on Facebook Messenger yesterday and I said, you know, when I'm in town, I'll pop by and come and say hi. And look at this, he's based right here, so I'm going to go and see Mike. Morning. How's it going, Mike? Good, you right? good, yeah, sure. good, good, good. I was just saying, look at that for a coincidence. Yes. We were talking yesterday on Facebook. Yeah. And lo and behold, across the room from Tom Dewey. So today. Yeah, yeah. So say hi to everyone. Tell them who you are. Hey, was everyone? Um, I'm Michael. I've just opened up uh, Avenue 19 Photography Studio here at the Sunbeam Studios in Wolverhampton. And uh, so far, so good. It's early days. It's early stages, but it's um, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I hope to see everybody down here as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. So let's have a quick look around. So you've literally just moved in? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Literally paint still wet on the walls in yeah. places. So yeah, it, okay. is that, it is that new. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's have yeah. a quick look around then. So this is your, this is the studio. This is going to be the studio area. Okay. Um, we've got backdrops going in. Yeah, um, well, I can see you still, still at work. Some, some backdrops that are already up. Yeah, it's Lots a big space. Thing. It's great for the studio. Yeah. So, if people want to find you online, if people want to, you know, um, maybe make a booking or whatever, where would they find you? Catch up with Mike Tolfrey on Facebook, 
um, avenue19 at hotmail.co.uk if you want to give me a, an email. Mm -hmm. um, catch up with me on um, Instagram under my toll free and um, the hashtag small click remember. Um, that small should, click remember. That should take you through to some of the things that I've been doing so far. Yeah. Nice on my. Good to see you. Much, Tony. You too. Oh. Right, so there you go. I didn't realise this place was um, as buzzing as it is. It's really, really picking up here. So I didn't expect to see. Let me straighten this up. I didn't expect to see to see Mike. So, so this is where we are. Biz space, affordable, flexible, affordable business spaces. So if you're in Wolverhampton and you want a, a place to set up shop, it'd be worth checking out. I might have to um, check them myself and see if I can get some get some space in there. Although I love working from home too much. So, all right, right now I need to go back. I need to go to the cash points, get some refreshments for the staff, and go back and um, do this this staff training. So I'll see you shortly. been to like three different shops where there used to be cash points first one cash point was broken second one and third one no more cash points in the shop so I have to come to, to Aldi good old Aldi see if I can get some cash from there well that was embarrassing I put my first card in and I forgot my pin number, I put the wrong pin in. So I had to cancel that and then put it on a different card. Crazy. Alright, so it's been a it's been a long day, but it's been a productive day, it's been good. So, just getting in now, and then we've got another early start tomorrow. We've got a family funeral to go to, so, just gonna get in, um, sort out a few things ready for tomorrow, and then get some rest, but, yeah, I'm glad I was able to take you out and see a few, a few people. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all later, take care.